What's up, good peoples? Welcome back to our channel. We've got some explosive news that's gonna leave the Duchess of Delusion curled up in a regressed ball of exposed lies and simmering embarrassment. So, get those ice packs ready, cause the busted lies and shameless hypocrisy I'm about to unleash are gonna leave you with third degree truth burns. Now, I know you guys are excited, but before we delve any further, you need to listen to me for a second. I'm overwhelmed by the love and support you folks show me and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I mean, what are y'all waiting for? Smash that subscribe button now and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Now, but alright, let's get down to business. You've all been well familiarized by now with Meghan's petty little crusade to tear down the reputation and credibility of the royal family at any cost. Her use of the bizarre photo of Kate and the kids that she twisted on Mother's Day marked only the latest assault by a severely narcissistic woman against the entity she used to claim she admired so much. Well, the apple doesn't fall far from the muckrake tree, folks because it now appears that the merching Muppet and her insipid and nobler Prince Pirate have been doctoring their own photos for years too. The Dickensian levels of deception and throwback varied stimulus to act of that behavior is epic, even by Markled huh? Let's take it back a bit to set the scene with regard to the Mother's Day scandal, shall we? According to Royal Insiders Megan was the chief Muppeteer behind the faux holiday pick release. Sort of a demented, buckman croc gel toro of the dollar store. Unabashedly debasing Kate out of unresolved jealousy and malicious intent over the Princess of Wales' easy vitality, beauty, and authenticity. All characteristics the eternally unduchess could never trust to implement. It was a hideous jest fueled by jealousy, misunderstanding, and an increasingly unhinged determination to remain relevant at any expense. Of course, Macon grossly undervalued how utterly garish her audacious meddling would seem to the world, or how immediately her smallbore contrivances would backfire in her impossibly overcrowded smirk. However, she didn't mind, because, what seems to her, no amount is too much when calculating scores and catering to that flimsy ego. Nonetheless, we all should have had a good look at Princess Pinocchio's real colors following that outburst. The gall to shout thieves and charge the royals with being criminals when it's been established that they were the ones captured red-handed in the dissemination of lewd and cruelly deceptive propaganda. It was hypocrisy in its purest form, at least till we got the rest of the unpleasantness. You see, on that day in question, Megan's flying monkeys came out with their post accusing the big house of heinous trephination over the cake shot. However, new proof has surfaced that she and Harry were participating in the identical adroitly lens-pinching trick, and at something far more sensitive and pure than a cake. She's correct, I'm discussing the pregnancy publicity photos cunningly completed by the debased pair to hit their disgraceful faction creation system, baby irrelevant affectionately known as Lilibet's birth fails. You remember them, don't you, the swank shot of H and M cuddling underneath a tree while they chatted up the sock puppet paradise they just produced out of troublesome island mud. See, well, it seems the Ren Fair fantasy exhibition they set was not entirely genuine. In truth, Megan's own photographic buddy, Pal Misson Harriman, just reported that the willow tree backdrop was literally 100% digitally produced sham Photoshop trickery. So just let those truth grenades explode in your craniums for a minute, fam. The Montecito Morinst were not only staging a fake poverty pony show but fabricated the scenery to produce a little whimsical naturalism aura in what was supposed to be a heartful pregnancy reveal. This wasn't even TV movie level production value. This was a damn video game cutscene brought to life. Oh, and let's not forget, Harriman basically copped the digital ruse, right? The dude openly joked in an interview, isn't it amazing what you can do with technology, and chuckled over the virtual shooting of this fibbing session. How's that for an explosive truth bomb in the middle of the Markle High Road you all love to preach from, huh? 
No, the revelation of these utterly damning details led to royal experts like Angela Levin quite rightly branding the Montecito Muppet babies hypocrites of the highest order for daring to call out Kate's minor photo tweaks after commissioning entire artificial environments for their own self-serving pap stunts. As she so bluntly asked, how dare their cap say anything about Catherine's pics? And it's a phenomenal point that's merited examining the full extent of Harry and Meghan's synthetic reality distortion syndrome. Because, folks, this fabricated foliage wasn't the first time these two divas have come under scrutiny for embellishing imagery underscore parent underscore reference. Jesus, every single glamour pap that rolls off the pap's cookie cutter has given off the smell of excessive face tumming and liquid deception. In fact, one might argue that their entire Netflix traveling was an enormous exercise in extraction of relevant facts and context to rewrite their narrative of events. There is literally no goldmine of brand success that exists without some level of historical revisionism and airbrushed propaganda. Still, and each swipe of excessive arrogance and deceit, these two ruthless narcissists still felt driven to deprecate Kate as the only deceiver in the newest cycle of optics wars. All because the Princess of Wales dared oversharpen a family photo while battling the rigors of post-op rehabilitation. The gaslighting and the veneration complex relied on taking such a determination are out of this world. Although at this point, I suppose we should not be shocked by their obsessive desire to attack the identical establishment that gives them significance. After all, it's the same dishonest couple that waged a war on the concept of truth during the Oprah and debacle the Oprah before creating two ghostly apparitions to shield the duo from exposure. And yes, I'm heading there, there is still not any solid proof that Aki and Lilibet are anything but behavioral mushers engineered only to fill with Meg's insane desire for merchandise and promotion. All we have are highly edited glamour papers and a few reasonably faced masked nurses who are supposed to hold people from recognizing her ghost children don't look remotely like their purported parents. I'm sorry, at what point do we start calling a spade a goddamn shovel here? Everything from the digital background swaps, to the missing baby feet, to the highly suspect head shape and size discrepancies in the few public photos. All that points to these kids being high-tech cabbage patch simulations at best. Heck, when you take those breadcrumbs and stack them next to resurface quotes from Meg literally describing her school book reports as, baking Elias cake frosted with deception. Well, it becomes pretty clear who the delusional fantasist is in this equation. So no, despite whatever teeth Nashini's sanctimonious screed she trots out on her troll-free terrarium of an Instagram. Megan has zero ground to stand on when lecturing others about honesty or preserving the public trust. She's a fake person with fake kids and a fake personality who uses cutting room pilot tricks to construct her sad little alternate reality. And I'll be damned if I let this two-bit truth merchant princess gaslight us all into questioning the palace's credibility before acknowledging and renouncing her own lifelong affair with chronic deception. If she wants to go to war over edited snapshots and microbed births, then she better be ready to get ethered back into that anchovy tin of irrelevancy she clambered out of. Because at the end of the day, you can be damned sure the firm closes ranks and protects its crown jewels while leaving the courtiers, fixers, and yes men out front to catch all the stray fire. What's worse, that whole pyramid scheme could potentially fall in a stiff breeze if one strong enough whisper of dissent or truth reaches the wrong spot within it. The handedness lies with the celebrated Duchess in deciding which pillar she will unfold first. So what's the idea, royal truth soldiers? Was this meadow green screening just another bit of harmless quick spell smoke to make a good Instagram snap? Or this marks the final dip in Meghan's credibility stake? indicating that her entire mythology is made up of smoke, screen saver, and poor sheets? Most importantly, would these brainless viscounts even be capable of acknowledging that they deceived us on this horror show scale? Or will they get back on this same old shamer is cool boilerplate regarding security and privacy scares when confronted this simply with helplessness and fast-paced reality? I earnestly suppose they would indicate greater intellect on that front if they just possesses it and has shame to declare that they're a couple of rogue hologram trials these are at this moment, you know.
but I think that's arranging too great hope on the self-awareness tur. That's why I'm twisting it over to the humane swarming droves. In my mind, I'm not getting any. I want your boldest, wettest, and a lot of volcanic statements on how forgivable in Flavulture at his concluding such unforgivable persona crime propaganda opens and begin. Since I'm presuming that this breaking royal roach clash blot is just the commencement of a good hot, long summer discussion before this next life bomb explodes. So, what's going to fit into the Sussex's saga next? Time will only tell. But, not to worry I'll be back soon with more scalding hot tea. However, before tuning out, you know the drill. Please, like this video, subscribe, and share to help get the word out. Thanks for tuning in, goodbye for now everyone.